I got engaged to my boyfriend, my fiance now. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I haven't been very consistent with my videos. It's been a while since I last took one. But anyways, today's the 15th of December, 2023. I've been on Dupixit for 10 months now. I started in February. I usually take it fortnightly as recommended by my dermatologist. However, my plan is to stretch it out and I've actually been doing it this time round. I was supposed to take my dose three days ago, but my skin is doing all right. So I just like thought I'd go without it and see how long my skin will last. Usually by the time my shot is due, my skin would kind of have like a mini flare up or not like a, like a inflamed flare up. Um, I guess I should say like patchy, dry, like flaky skin under my nose and corner of my eyes. But I haven't been getting that. Yeah, this is the first time actually. I was in Japan last month and my skin got really glowy and like so hydrated. And I thought it was the product I was using because when I got to Japan, I bought some new products for my skin, like toner and lotion. And it worked so well, like my skin was so like plump. So I thought it was the product. So I packed my suitcase with the product and I came back to Sydney and the, from the next day, my skin flared up. So I was kind of devastated because I thought it was the products, but it seemed like it was the country I was in, like in the climate, because Australia is really dry. But then a few weeks went by and my skin was getting back on track. I actually stopped using one of the products because I wanted to use less products to calm my inflamed skin and my skin calmed down. So then after that, I actually ended up using a sunscreen that was supposed to be used on the body. My skin got inflamed again and I just knew that it was from that sunscreen. It took a few days to try and get my skin back on track. It's better now, but my point was when I was back in Japan, my skin was doing really, really well. And the day my Dupix scent was due, my skin was doing really well. But I just took it because I was in Japan. I had lots of plans with my friends. So I didn't want to wake up with, I don't know, like inflamed skin. So I just ended up taking it on the day that I was supposed to. But then the next one that was due is the one that I didn't take. So last Dupix scent, I took it on the day it was due but I didn't have to because my skin was doing really well. So that tells me that my skin is holding a lot longer than it was before because before that, it would get dry patches by like two days prior to the Dupix scent shot was due. So yeah, really happy with how my body is starting to cope without medication. That was my update. Also, whoever follows me on Instagram would know, but I got engaged to my boyfriend, my fiance now. He supported me throughout my TSW. So yeah, I'm just so happy that I get to be with him forever now. Anyways, that was my update. I will film again when I decide to take Dupixent. I'll see how long I can stand without it. Hey guys. It's been exactly seven days since Dupix scent was due and it's been the longest I've gone without it. The longest was a day before this, but last night I thought I'm due for a shot soon because my skin was starting to get itchy and I've had like a few tiny flare ups here and there. But yeah, last night my neck got really itchy and I woke up with a bit of a sore neck because I scratched last night and I noticed that my whole body in general is a little bit itchier than usual and it's kind of hard to see on camera and I'm wearing makeup but I'm starting to get dry spots on my face as well like here and here it's so hot in Sydney right now it's like humid hot anyway my disinfectant wipes, alcohol wipes, and I've been warming up my Dupixent under under my arm. 
this helps so much with the pain i use numbing cream so that the needle doesn't hurt going in but even with the numbing cream on when you push the medicine in it stings if if it's not warmed up under my arms for me i do it for like more than 10 minutes at least 10 minutes because it really like helps with the pain like you can't feel the stinginess at all if you warm it up but don't like warm it up any other way because it's not supposed to be hot you know okay oh yeah i was gonna say on like day three or four without dipping scent i noticed that one of my nips were starting to ooze a little bit like it was getting itchy as well um i feel like this is tmi but i just want to be like transparent with you guys because i know some of you are going through the same thing and some of you are struggling with TSW so I want to be like honest and transparent as possible so that I can help you guys and know that it's normal to experience those kind of things during TSW I made a video about a month ago saying that my nips were completely healed with jojoba oil and it was because that was the area that wouldn't heal even with Dupix scent and it would just like constantly ooze and it was itchy and it would like scab and it would go through the whole you know TSW symptom but then when I started using jojoba oil, oil on them it healed up in a week or so so I was really happy with that and I talked about that in my last video I continued to put jojoba oil on them I do every day anyways but I um, put a bit more on them and they've calmed down even without because I haven't taken the shot yet um, they have gotten better than a few days ago so it definitely herbal oil definitely helps with me but just be careful if you haven't used a herbal oil before to do a patch test because I know my sister got a flare on her on her face when she used them the first time she didn't know she was like sensitive to it so just make sure you test them out okay it's been three weeks since I've taken a shot and I get scared every time but now that I haven't taken them for three weeks it feels it feels like forever you know how I said I gained weight in one of my previous videos and then I started going to the gym and lost three kilos. I ended up going to Japan after that and I gained three kilos. So um, I'm kind of back to where I was, but I have been going to the gym recently. So hopefully I can get some muscle back and lose a bit of fat I gained. Stick with me cause everything I see still reminds me of you Back of all your things, the memories of when I kissed you Remember when we used to say to each other We belong together, me and you forever Can you see my sweat dripping down? Oh my god. It's just really hot today in Sydney and also with all the tension uh, while I was getting my shot. Oh god. 
it's not painful it's just like really stressful to see a needle going a needle go in my skin in my stomach you know that's all but yeah my number one tip warming up under your arm at least 10 minutes before you take it and two go very slowly and blow on the injection area while you push it in okay so i will probably see you when i have another skin update or in three weeks time hopefully um hopefully my skin will last three weeks from today not two weeks so i'll see you whenever i see you Really, really happy for that.